Bader's GB162 High Efficiency Condensing Gas Boiler. High efficiency gas heating made easy. This video will show and discuss the way the cascade piping system is installed. For information on wiring and electrical installation, please consult the manual for the MCM-10. When installing a GB162 cascade system, be sure to follow all instructions in the manual and adhere to local plumbing, electrical, venting, and gas codes. Proper safety procedures should be followed. This system should only be installed by a trained and licensed professional. The GB162 Cascade Boiler utilizes the GB162 Condensing Gas Boiler combined with a mounting and manifold system that allows multiple boilers to be combined to match the system load requirements up to 1.3 million BTU input. This simple and easy system saves hours in boiler installation. This system includes a mounting rack, supply and return manifold, hydraulic separator, boilers, boiler pumps, piping connections between the boiler and manifold, insulation, and system controls. The GB162 condensing gas boiler is available in two models, model 80 or 290,000 BTUs, and model 100, 330,000 BTUs. Models 80 and 100 can be combined in any combination to match any system heating requirements. The GB162 Cascade system is available in two configurations, TL inline boiler mounting and TR back-to-back -back boiler mounting. Cascades of two, three, or four boilers are possible. For this instructional video, we will be assembling a TL2 inline two boiler system. When unpacking the boilers and cascade components, be sure to locate the installation instructions provided. When unpacking, check to verify you have all the parts. Consult the manual for an exact parts list. Verifying that all parts have shipped will ensure a smoother installation. With this TL2 assembly, we have three supports, two frames, a manifold, low loss header, and connection pipes. Pipe insulation is also shipped with a cascading kit. All necessary nuts and bolts are shipped with the unit. Please be aware of venting and combustion air requirements when selecting a location for the GB162 cascade system. Boilers can be vented individually or combined in a common vent system. Combustion air can be ducted directly from outside to each individual boiler or room air can be used if the requirements are met. Please consult the installation manual for more information. The GB162 Cascade system has a zero clearance requirement on both the left and right hand side. Recommended minimum clearance for access to the front of the boiler for easy service access is 37 inches. The minimum clearance off the top of the boiler is 6 inches. This allows for connection of the exhaust and intake piping. The GB162 Cascade system utilizes a floor mounted rack system for hanging the boilers. The rack system must be installed on a flat level surface. Fix the support frame to one upright support using two 8mm by 70mm bolts and nuts provided. Be sure that the pre-drilled holes for the boiler hanging bracket are positioned at the top. Attach the next upright support and frame using the lags and nuts provided. Attach the last upright support to the support frame using two 8mm by 70mm bolts and nuts provided. Position the assembled cascade frame in its final position. Level the cascade frame both horizontally and vertically. Secure the cascade frame to the floor. The boilers will be shipped on a pallet separate from the TL2 frame and manifold kit. On this pallet should be four boxes, two containing the boilers and two containing the pump groups. When unpacking the boilers, you'll find the installation manual packet, which has the manual, radiator key, and warranty registration card, wall mounting bracket, condensate trap, hose for condensate trap, 
domestic hot water sensor, supply and return union nuts with ceiling washers, and room air intake filter. Attach the boiler mounting brackets to the cascade frame using two M8 by 65 millimeter bolts and nuts. The bottom edge of the bracket should be level with the bottom side of the frame. Mounting the boilers will require two people. When lifting the boiler, place one hand on the back of the boiler and the other on the transport rail at the bottom. Do not lift the boiler by the door covering the control panel. Slide the back of the boiler onto the mounting bracket. The boiler can be moved horizontally by sliding it along this bracket. Position the boiler so that the side of the boiler lands in the middle of the upright. Level the boiler vertically by using the adjustable set screws located on the back side of the boiler. Position the next boiler on the bracket. The boiler should be touching in the center. Level the second boiler vertically using the adjustable set screw. The boilers are shipped with a pump group. This pump group includes, of course, a gas valve, an insulated cover, as well as pump, the pressure relief valve, isolation ball valves with thermometers, as well as purge points and a check valve. Locate the gas connections at the bottom of the boiler. Remove the plastic protector and connect the brass union nut to the gas connection. Connect the gas valve provided by using the brass nut and gasket provided. Locate the supply and return water connections at the bottom of the boiler. Remove the plastic protectors. Connect the two union nuts to the supply and return connections. These nuts can be found in the styrofoam packaging at the top of the boiler. Next, install the pump groups by using the union nuts and the flat gaskets provided. This job can be done by one person, but is significantly easier with two. Next, tighten the union nuts. The boiler pump group is equipped with a pressure relief valve. The relief valve should be piped to a suitable open drain or according to local codes. Next, attach the yellow gas valve handle to the gas valve. Notice that the header pipe can be positioned to the left or right simply by rotating the header pipe 180 degrees. Attach the supply return manifold header pipe to the cascade frame using four M8 by 70 bolts and nuts. Do not fully tighten the nuts yet. Slide the brass union nut onto the pipe nipple located on the return pipe of the manifold header. Next, attach a 90 degree compression elbow. Slide a compression nut and ferrule over a 1.5 inch by 12 inch connection pipe. Next, attach a 90 degree compression elbow. Rotate the connection pipe vertically to connect the pump group using the union nut and rubber washer provided. Repeat for the supply connection using a 1.5 inch by 4 inch connection pipe. Once all the connections are made between the pump groups and supply return manifold, tighten all union connections so that they are watertight. Next, tighten the bolts on the manifold header pipe. Connect the condensate trap to the condensate outlet located at the bottom of the boiler. The condensate trap uses a bayonet connector. Insert and turn one quarter rotation clockwise to lock into position. Connect the condensate hose and rubber sleeve. Condensate must be drained in accordance with any and all local, state, and federal codes. It may be necessary to use a condensate neutralizer. Make sure it is sized appropriately for your installation. Attach the hydraulic separator to the flanged end of the manifold header pipe using the supplied gaskets, M12 by 80 bolts, and nuts. 
tighten all the bolts. After all water connections have been tested for leaks, the piping insulation can be installed. Depending on manifold size, it may be necessary to install the insulation spacer into the insulation sections. Slide the rear insulation over the manifold header. Install the front insulation over the manifold header. Install the provided half-inch well into the tapping provided on the system supply side of the hydraulic separator. Install the sensor and make sure the wire is accessible for connection to the MCM10 controller. Install the rear insulation piece and install the front insulation piece over the hydraulic separator. Finally, install the end cap on the insulation. Install the pump group cover by aligning the top edges of the cover with the grooves in the left and right hand side of the boiler. Slide the cover over the pump so that the face of the blue and red temperature gauges and yellow gas valve handle are flush with the cover. Do not force the pump group cover on. You may need to adjust the temperature and pressure gauges and gas valve handles for proper alignment. For venting individual boilers, approved venting materials are PVC, CPVC, or AL294C stainless venting pipe. When using PVC or CPVC, remove the reducer insert from the exhaust connection. When using outside air for combustion, use 4 inch PVC or CPVC schedule 40 or 80 to bring outside air to the intake connection located at the top of the boiler. When using room air for combustion, insert the 4 inch screen basket into the air intake connection to help prevent debris from getting into the boiler. GB162 Cascade systems can be vented using a common venting system. Common venting is a vertical only application. Please contact Bedaris for sizing. The GB162 is equipped with a door lock located at the top right hand corner of the front door. Use a radiator key to unlock by turning quarter turn counterclockwise. Please adhere to all water quality requirements including the use of antifreeze. For long service life and peak efficiency, we recommend using a system cleaner and scale inhibitor. This concludes the assembly video of the GB162 Cascade system. For more information, download the installation manuals located in the download section of this video. Thank you.